Well, good morning, First Baptist Carlsbad family. Pastor Hal here uh, with a daily word of encouragement on Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. Hope you're having a great week uh, this week and hope you have been encouraged. Uh, hope that you, you've been able to encourage someone else this week, uh, maybe through a word, uh, maybe through a phone call, a letter, a text, uh, and, and just by um, being present in their life. Uh, this week we've been talking about um, encouragement and what that means as uh, we've looked at uh, being encouraged by God's presence, uh, being an unlikely encourager, as we saw with Jonathan and King David. Um, and so maybe this week you've had an opportunity to encourage someone maybe you didn't even know. Um, maybe it was somebody in the grocery store. Maybe it was someone um, at the post office, somebody that uh, you just were an unlikely encourager. We've seen uh, about how we can encourage one another today um, so that we help uh, one another to avoid um, being easily entangled in sin. And this morning, on this uh, Thursday, Throwback Thursday on social media, uh, we're going to look about how we can be encouraged by God's Word. Um, you know, I found here on my shelf, I've got this. Um, this is probably the, ol the oldest Bible that I own, uh, given to me by my grandparents, uh, Grandma and Pop, uh, back in 1977. Uh, I would have been about uh, 11 years of age. And so uh, I guess back then, I'm, as I'm looking through this uh, Bible, uh, King James Version, that's what I learned uh, most of the... Um, scripture that I have memorized in King James uh, uh, Version, but I must have thought that it wasn't good to, to write in my Bible back then because I really don't have anything underlined, and so I have since uh, begun to underline things in, in my Bible. This would have been what I would take um, to Sunday school, to vacation Bible school, um, to RAs uh, on Wednesday nights, and uh, just to, to be encouraged by God's Word. But, you know, as we think about um, God's Word, God's Word is an encouragement to us, and He encourages us uh, through His Word. That's, that's the main way that God still speaks to us today. Um, if you've ever been through Experiencing God by Henry Blackaby, um, uh, Dr. Blackaby talks about uh, four ways uh, through the Holy Spirit that God still speaks. Uh, through His Word, um, through prayer, uh, through circumstances, and through the church or through the counsel of other Christians. But the primary way uh, that God still speaks to us today is through His Word. And so His Word, um, the Scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, God breathed profitable for encouragement, uh, for uh, instruction, even for uh, rebuke, for training in righteousness, um, and for encouragement, as we see today, even from God's Word in Romans chapter 15, uh, the Apostle Paul uh, writing in verse 4, um, through verse 6. For whatever was written in the past was written for our instruction, so that we may have hope through endurance and through the encouragement of the Scriptures. Now may the God who gives endurance and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another, according to Christ Jesus, so that you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ with one mind and with one voice. And God speaks through his word today. Um, it is active and alive, as the writer of Hebrews uh, reminds us. Uh, but God's word is an encouragement for you and for me. Um, God wants to speak to us. And in fact, he speaks to us each and every day. And it's a matter of whether we're listening to what God has to say. Uh, but if you and I want to be encouraged, if we want to hear from God, the very best way to do it is to pick up God's word, whether it's uh, the Christian Standard Bible that I'm uh, reading from today, whether it's the King James Version, that I read from as a kid, whatever it is, and pick up God's Word, uh, allow God's Spirit to speak through His Word and to give you a word of encouragement. That's that's every day as I'm giving you a word of encouragement. Folks, the only way that I'm able to give you a word of encouragement is through God's Word because apart from God's Word, uh, we simply cannot be encouraged. God, God's Word is an encouragement to us. And so I would uh, just implore you today, uh, whatever it is that you need encouragement with, go to God's Word. Uh, go to Him. Uh, ask Him for a word of encouragement through His Word today. He'll give it to you. Whatever the circumstances of life, everything that we have to face in this world today, God has spoken in His Word and will give you and me a word of encouragement. So I hope you're encouraged today. I hope uh, that you can be an encourager to someone else as you share a word uh, from the Lord today in their life and as God shares.
shares a word of encouragement in your life today. Hope you have a rest of a blessed day in the Lord, and we will look forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow. Be in prayer for us. We'll be taking our son uh, Stephen up to Albuquerque later today uh, for a doctor's appointment uh, tomorrow with his uh, orthopedic uh, specialist. And so pray for us as we head up to Albuquerque and uh, pray all goes well. But I'll be back with you tomorrow uh, on location uh, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. God bless you.